Jay Sterling Morton arrived in what would be Nebraska City in November of 1854. It would still be a few months, however, before incorporation papers would be filed on this new town, the first settlement in Oto County. Situated as it was on the banks of the Missouri, just up from St. Joe, thousands of settlers passed through the area every month, many of them staying because of the quality and quantity of land available. Morton himself purchased land when he arrived, five town tracks and 70 lots on this town site. Part of that tract became the site for his home, Arbor Lodge, where we are today. Craig Bergman is superintendent of this now historic site for the State Game and Parks Commission. Craig, this is quite a popular tourist stop for not only people from the state of Nebraska and the Northern Plains, but from all over the United States. Yes, it is. We have approximately uh, 35,000 visitors per year, and we estimate between 160,000 and 180,000 people pass through the park gates every year. And our guest register this year, for example, shows that all 50 states have been represented in approximately 20 foreign countries. When did Morton build this residence? He built his first house in 1855, and it was a four-room L-shaped house and supposedly was the only frame house between here and the Rocky Mountains at that time. Now the house is not the only highlight of these grounds. No, the uh, park itself is covered with trees and as you are familiar, Jay Sterling Morton started Arbor Day in the idea of tree planting and we have approximately 200 different species of trees and shrubs on the grounds. And we also have two uh, tree trails and we were also designated the first member of the statewide Arboretum system this past spring. What prompted the idea for Arbor Day and Morton starting this? When Morton first came out here from Detroit, there were no trees uh, in the Nebraska Territory except along the river bottoms and creek bottoms. It was just a tall grass prairie between here and the Rocky Mountains. And he had come from back east where, of course, there were many trees. So he, he began to beautify his home by planting trees and shrubs. And he set uh, a resolution before the State Board of Agriculture in 1872, setting aside a day for tree planting. And the first Arbor Day was celebrated April 8, 1872. One man's effort spawning millions and millions of trees. J. Sterling Morton, the father of Arbor Day, a man with tremendous foresight. I'm Don Jacks with Craig Bergman. We're in Nebraska City at Arbor Lodge, one stop on the Nebraska Trail. The Nebraska Trail, presented for a better understanding of Nebraska by the Nebraska Public Power District.